Chapman, Craig Ferguson. Fantastic, that's great. All right, all right, sit down, stop clapping. You're starting to look a little bit stupid. <laughs> no, not at all. You look fantastic. What a great audience you are. You're so attractive. You smell so nice. <laughs> I'm buttering them up. I'd like to butter you up. I'd like to get a big creamy stick and rub it all over you. You too, ladies. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. Yes, indeed. It is. It is, of course. Friday. Oh, thank goodness. A Friday. I've been waiting for this day since yesterday. Now, it's a big movie home today. I'm very excited about this movie, Rock of Ages. It's a musical about hair metal bands of the 1980s, which means me, I'm kind of torn about this, really, because part of me is like, do I really want to hear songs that I hated the first time around? <laughs> but and then the other part of me is like, it's a musical! <laughs> Every rose has a... I gotta be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of hair metal. How good can a musical genre be when it's known for its hairstyle? <laughs> Although, I admit I went to, through a fair share of hairspray back in the 80s. From time to time, I still wear a big poof. <laughs> not up here. <laughs> it's like a flock of seagulls down there. <laughs> A squadron of angry seagulls. <laughs> I feel I'm losing you. <laughs> a lot of the hair metal songs were, were popular because of the video games. You know, uh, they're, 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 you know, the video games, the rock band, the guitar hero, because nothing says rock and roll like playing a video game in your parents' basement. <laughs> Dude, you rock! <laughs> boom, boom. understood about Guitar Hero is if you go to all the trouble to be good at Guitar Hero, why don't you just learn to play the guitar? <laughs> it seems so insane to me. Anyway, I was, uh, uh, did I cuss there? I, didn't even, I don't even know I'm doing it now. Anyway, I'm intrigued by any movie about the 1980s. I mean, sure, some people say it's just lame nostalgia, a still, a still trip down memory lane, but not for me, because I was drunk in the 80s. I don't remember any of it. <laughs> it's all new to me. I'm like, wow! Perhaps every rose does have a thorn. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Madonna was an American woman? <laughs> Madonna, that little British guy, was an American woman? <laughs> Like a virgin, no. <laughs> I love that song. Does that mean I can say it now? Oh, okay. Anyway, Rock of Ages is basically, it's just a karaoke for middle-aged people. It's like Glee for dads, but... <laughs> not leather daddies. Glee for leather daddies is just glee. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, a, a bit, the, the big rock star in Rock of Ages is Tom Cruise, because nothing says rock and roll. <laughs> uh, now, Tom Cruise plays a rock star that's allegedly based on Axl Rose, and that must drive Axl Rose crazy. Well, more crazy. <laughs> It's not even possible. Axel must be exactly the same about this. <laughs> now, some of the reviews of Rock of Ages have not been very kind, but you should never listen to those reviews. Critics secretly want movies to be bad so they can come up with snarky review titles like Schlock of Ages or This Rock Stinks or Tom Cruise is a Tiny Weird Little Freak. 
<laughs> Feel free to use that last one, Peter Travers of Rolling Stone. <laughs> It's a movie critic, I know. <laughs> anyway, in the movie, uh, people break into 1980 songs to summarise what they're, they're doing. It seems unrealistic, that. And then, actually, but I do it sometimes in real life. It happened to me the other night. I started singing Beat It. <laughs> see what I did? You see what I did? Yeah, I was there. <laughs> One of the big uh, songs in this movie is that song, We Built This City on Rock and Roll, which is ironic, because that is the least rock and roll song that has ever been made in the history <laughs> of not very rock and roll songs. We built this, you know you didn't, even Coldplay are like, oh, grow some balls, dude. <laughs> now, the, the big power ballad in the movie is, of course, the poison, every rose has its thorn, which, when you think about it, it's just pointing out, out obvious things. Every rose has a thorn, mm-hmm, every... <laughs> Every night has a dawn. Mm -hmm. Every cowboy sings a sad, sad song. Well, they do once I'm done with them. Isn't that right, cowboys? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I didn't say you could go yet, man. <laughs> How's it going over there, Jeff? Giddy up, jackass. <laughs> Just remember this, when you intern on this show, you get a college credit. <laughs> the Doctors of Tomorrow. <laughs> there you go, get off. Jeff, Jeff, ho, 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 ice front, Mr. Ice Front. Call me. Do you know when I first saw the Rock of Ages poster, I thought it said Rock of Regis? I was like, what? Two hours of Regis Philbin singing? That'd be awesome. Regis Philbin singing hair metal? You could do that. What would that sound like? Uh, uh, she's my cherry pie. Cool drink of water. Oh, what a sweet surprise. Do you like the hair metal? Love the hair metal. That seems sad. <laughs> Look at my mohawk, baby. I'm all hair metal. They didn't really have mohawks hair metal bands, though they had giant, giant poofs on their head. <laughs> There's so much I could say right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> well, let me help you. Ever had a giant poof on your head? Yes, his name was Joe. <laughs> I, was, I was a little on the nose, man. I, there wasn't any kind of like double meaning. That was just like, that was just like saying dirty stuff. <laughs> Business as usual, pal. Yeah, I guess. Want to do the thing? Sure, I'd love to. Okay, come on. Craig's the one they call Dr. Creepy. Craig's the one that hosts a show late at night. He's the one that makes you feel sleepy. Let's go to break real quick right now. 